I want to talk with you today about Jake Freeman. He's a 20-year-old kid who just made $110 million in Best Buy stock in three weeks. Um, it's a remarkable story, and it's uh, sort of a metaphor for what is going on now this month, August, with meme stock trading. So let me show you a, a, a picture of him and <laughs> see how he got all this money uh, to, to, to bake the trade. So here, here he is in the Financial Times, uh, did an article on him today. Uh, and uh, he just made, uh, this figure's wrong. He made 110 million uh, and he bought the shares at $5 and 50 cents a share. And he sold uh, more than $130 million worth, but he really made 110 because he paid around uh, 25, $27 million a share. Here's what the stock has done. You can see he bought under five and has sold over the past couple of days. Uh, now how, he bought so many shares though, that he owned 6.2% of all outstanding shares. He became essentially an insider. And when he did that, he then sent a letter under an LLC that he owns, Freeman Capital Management, to the board of directors of Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, saying that basically he's an activist investor now and saying uh, that he suggests Best Buy take these corporate measures, uh, cutting debt, raise money uh, for their long-term survival. Um, there's no record of them responding to this. Uh, you may wonder though, how did someone that's 20 years old, and he's a student, college student, uh, get $25 million in order to buy 6.2% of all the shares of stock. Well, what is Freeman Capital? That is a LLC slash hedge fund. And he got money from an uncle that is uh, a pharmacy company executive. And then apparently uh, this Jake Freeman, I mean, <laughs> also interned at hedge funds for a couple of years. So it sounds like some of these hedge funds gave him money, but still pretty crazy, sounds pretty pretty wild. It almost makes you wonder if he's not some sort of, well, in a way he is a front, he's managing or he's the front of this money on this trade. But people are so focused now I mean, uh, this is his 15 minutes of fame. And people are so focused on him and this story. Look, Best Buy, uh, just the other day, and I did a video about this, was the second most traded stock among Fidelity account holders, uh, just below Tesla. Uh, and these are short-term traders, and they're playing meme stocks. So they got on Best Buy, now they're hearing this story and finding out about it, and they're trying to figure out well, is Mr. Freeman going to get on another stock play? And yes, he has. And that stock is Mind Medicine. And while it's down 18% for the year, it's surging 46% in the past couple of days. Um, now, this is a, a company that's involved in, uh, well, you, you look it up. I don't, mindmed.com. Dot co is it um, look I have no position in this stock I'm not going to trade this stock I have two thoughts on, the, on all this I want to share with you one as I said at the beginning of this video this is the type of trading that is now dominating the financial markets and it and it's done this this has happened before we saw this same thing if you can remember in the first quarter of 2021 with GameStop, with AMC. And the news, you know, the rise in those stocks and the news surrounding it, you know, dominated the US news cycle for, a, for about 48 hours and drew millions more people into the financial markets. Now that's not happening. We're not seeing, you know, millions more people getting inspired 
by the moves in stocks such as Best Buy this month to try to trade themselves. But what we are seeing are people that had not been trading, you know, that have had accounts for the past two years and kind of slowed down, stopped trading because the market conditions became so difficult uh, after the stock market peak around New Year's in the decline in the stock market, they kind of just gave up. They, they stopped trading. But now they're getting inspired to get back into the market. The recent stock market rally has inspired them to load up their apps, to get back on the Reddit message boards. And hence, we're seeing the appearance of the type of plays these people gravitated into the past, uh, the meme stock plays. And now, um, you know, Best Buy, uh, Magic Empire uh, the week before, uh, and, and now today, apparently my medicine. And this, this kid is, is, you know, has made $110 million. <laughs> Pretty amazing. But what do you do in a situation like this? How do you, do you want to take advantage of it? Look, I, I don't jump on trades just because the stock is up a whole lot. I, I, I don't find that to be a good method. Um, I've been trading the market since the 90s. And I'll share with you one trading pattern that has been the single most profitable and consistent trading pattern for me, period. I, I call it the two-fold formula. And in the description of this video, I'm linking to a video I did about, about it. It's a short video. And in it, you'll see a link uh, in the description of that video for a PDF that explains exactly how and why the formula, the pattern works. Because it's important to know why something works uh, in order to have any confidence in what you're doing or else you're essentially almost like gambling in the financial markets, which you don't need to be doing when you can do things that are more optimal. So that's in the description of the video, the video about that stock trading pattern. Now, uh, I do videos about all sorts of topics, news, the economy, real estate, stock market. If you want more stock market videos from me, hit like. And if you're new to my videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, and YouTube will send you an alert as soon as my next video is up for you to watch.